We should, but they need to be broad-based, and I think we need to focus more on a magnet or vacuum approach rather than a lasso approach. We should resist the temptation to try to grab a few here and there and bring them here, but you do have to have those tools to make the difference when some of those uh, important companies are making decisions about coming to Arizona. Uh, many of you have seen me explain the state budget with the Kleenex boxes, and I was doing that uh, two and a half years ago, I think it was in Chandler at an economic development forum, and the next speaker was Barry Broom from GPEC, and he talked about how that year, GPEC was focused on, three, among others, I'm sure, 300 companies that they had identified that were leaving California or had left within the past 12 months. Unfortunately, he announced to the audience that only one of those 300 arrived in, uh, came to Arizona. And when asked where they went, he started naming a, a series of nine or 10 states. And of the nine or 10 he mentioned, six were states that do not have a state income tax on business or personal income. I believe Ari there's uh, three others. I believe Arizona needs to be the 10th state to eliminate the state income tax on personal income and business income. I think we need to replace it with a broad-based, low-rate tax on consumption so that, you, so that everyone pays their fair share based on the amount that they consume. It's not a tax increase. You collect the same amount of money, but you collect it on a broad-based consumption type tax instead of most by sales tax and some by income tax. But I believe, oh, there, okay. Is that Lisa Graham Keegan? No, she's right here. All right. Um, but, so we need, to, we need to do things that attract lots of businesses here, but even more important, as I think someone else mentioned, in the 30 years that I've been in business, I learned, uh, one of the first things I learned was it's better to keep a good customer than to lose one and have to replace them with somebody else. So we've got to do things that not only attract companies here, but reward the companies that are already here paying their fair share.